This is the latest and improved vacuum solder stencil magic box. Oh, that name is getting pretty long. Let's check it out. New for this version is that I now have a stencil holder because I'm using this box for two different PCBs. So I'm just want to show how you can do that. So this is the holder, holds the stencil in place and also helps close the holes for the vacuum to suck down the stencil. And then there's a center plate which, which holds the PCB. So it's going to hold it in the center. So it's faster to center the stencil and it kind of has guide pins. And it also helps the PCBs not be lifted by the uh, suction of the stencil itself to the PCB. I also added a new nut, which is a lot easier to attach and screw on. The uh, retainers is now clip on. You still have to glue the springs. And another thing which is new is that you can, you, you pull the vacuum through the stencil compartments first and uh, it helps to lift the, uh, or suck down the stencil lifters better. So let's build it and see if it works. So first thing we'll do is put in the screw that holds the ventilation knob. And then I'm still gluing on the springs. It's kind of the easiest way to attach them. But now the uh, retainers is clip on but remember to put on the lid first then the retainers and then you put it on the right way and just knock it down this is the pcb holder or the larger pcb add some vacuum we're on the stencil and it can immediately get sucked down. Release some of the pressure so it's easier to move it around. Apply some paste and I'm gonna just excessively smudge this all over and doing it not the right way. On purpose. I'll just gently lift it up. Wires, same with this PCB holder. Then bring out the new PCB holder, and the PCB is just held down there by friction. Because this PCB is smaller, I'm using this plate to cover the holes. And here I'm applying solder paste also not the right way but I just want to test it and gently lift it up paste looks very good it's evenly distributed this is really side lit so you can see the shadows and I'm pretty happy with this so kind of the secret behind this is just the lifting, lifting it 90 degrees straight up and that really helps to not smudge paste between those legs and those really fine pitch components. Because I didn't make the entire box parametric, this time I've added just an empty plate which you can for the PCB holder and you can just mimic the way I made it and the stencil holder can just be dragged in any direction you can just hit Q on the edge here or on the face I have published uh, the new version to github and hackaday io and also uploaded it to thingiverse you can go grab it there so I recently renamed the channel to MRH home manufacturing which is what this channel will be all about from now on. And if you are into home manufacturing, 
you should really subscribe to my channel. I'm also going to start live streaming on Twitch. So if you use Twitch, you can follow me on there and I'll be live streaming on all of the stuff I do. I'm going to be live streaming on electronics, Python coding, manufacturing, machine building, and all that stuff. And that's it for this video. I'll catch you next time.